guys, Jill here, and I have a Scrapbook Expo haul. Um, the Scrapbook Expo was here um, Friday and Saturday. I went Friday, and I took a class on um, or from Spellbinders, and that was first thing in the morning, which was 9 a.m., and I'm sorry, I have my stamp desk is in front of my window and it's nice and sunny out and the cats are kind of sitting in the blinds so you will see different lighting sorry about that but I did lock the dogs out so I tried <laughs> okay so um, last year when I went to the expo I wasn't sure if I was going to go back I just felt that there was so many just like grab bins, you know, people rifling through discount papers and all kinds of just, okay, Caesar, odds and ends, and I, I just didn't enjoy myself. So this year I kind of went with a plan. I decided I was going to enjoy the make and takes and, um, I knew I wanted to get a thing or two from Art Impressions. I had seen that they had a whole bunch of new stuff. And one was um, they had some new watercolor sets. And they hadn't had some new ones in quite a while. So that was my plan of attack. And I've got to say, I had a great day. Um, my husband dropped me off bright and early. And I... Went to my class, then I shopped the rest of the day, did the make and takes. It was wonderful. I didn't find as many of those um, booths. I, I enjoyed um, just leisurely strolling around. So it was really great. And um, enough talking, because I'll talk throughout all of this. So this year, we got the usual glue stick, which I really like this glue. It's thick. And we got a Spectrum Noir pencil. And, um, let me set that pencil over here so it doesn't interest any of the cats. And then, of course, um, the booklet. There was a lot of early bird specials. I didn't get in on any of those because I was taking my class. Now the cats are fighting. Oh, boy. Okay, so this was my Spellbinders class. And the samples and the cards we actually made matched up. They were amazing. Um, and the class, the people teaching it, sorry, I have to get rid of the cats, were on point. Everything was just really fun. And um, I sat with a very enjoyable lady from the Clearwater area. I'm just chatting while I get out some of the stuff. So we used Fun Foam and we made a stamp. I didn't finish pushing all the little bits out of mine. Um, I ended up using the one created by the lady next to me. And um, so we created the stamp and then created this card. I haven't said it yet. Here's the other card we created, which is just stunning. Look at this one. It embossed and debossed, which I love that feature. And then look at that one. I can't imagine. I think she said her daughter made 50 or 45 class kits. And like this one is, the whole border is sewn. And we only cut the bird, the dragonfly, and... I don't know, one of the, oh, the stamp itself. And otherwise, all of this stuff was cut for us. So that was really impressive. Really well put together class. And so there was that. 
um, I would definitely take that again. And then the make and takes were amazing. This was a make and take. And that was from, that's my computer, ads, Craft Fantastic. And they have, you know, it's the bezel. You put some adhesive on a piece of clip art, put the bezel on top of it, and then use a glue dot to put all of that into the bezel. And they had tons of shapes. And their free make and take did exactly what it was supposed to do. I moseyed on over there. I bought some heart charms. There are five in here. The charms, and see there's the bezels. They're nice high bezel pieces. And then I bought the bigger hearts, which is five bases and five, or actually, I'm sorry, ten tops. So I'll probably be back there next year buying more. Um, so... That was really cool. And then the other make and take we took was from this co company called Fun Stampers Journey. They're an in-home company. Um, you know, much like Stampin' Up, close to my heart. And they had some really nice products. Um, and they were offering a startup kit. And they had really, really nice stamp blocks. I really liked their stamp blocks. Um, anyway... This is what we did, and this was our card. I didn't finish adding the sequins, and we added glitter to this, but I just didn't want that in my bag. So we could have also done the heart one because those stamps were also provided. And boy, the stamps, the, stamp, the ads are really kicking in because those stamps were provided for us because they gave us a stamp set. So that was part of the make and take. We actually walked away with one of their stamp sets and he told us that this is a limited edition just for the expo this year. So if you go to a scrapbook expo, look for that make and take. It's one of the big ones with the headset going. And, um, thought that was very generous very nice make and take again that was the second very generous make and take I went to um, the expo itself does the pins so I got I learned for taking a class I shopped because well I spent money and I created um, for doing that make and take that. Um, okay. So now where did I spend my money? I did get some of this, um, scrap happy sheer glue. This is really good for putting on, um, like an empty stamp pad and, or a makeup sponge, applying it to your stamp and then stamping with it and applying glue over it and um it it applies a really sheer layer of glue to put glitter over like micro fine really great stuff i waited all year i wished i'd bought this the entire year so that was actually the first thing i bought and then i went over to rubbernecker and I spoke with the gentleman demoing there and um, talked with him. He had three Mustang stamps, so I got two of them. And um, I know you've heard me mention before, we are a Mustang family. Um, we had a 65 and we have an 05. And, um, you know, it's just I'm always on the lookout and next year... You know, I've already started my list for next year. So those heart bezels as well as that third Mustang. And he had a really cool product, which was Powder Watercolors. They're by Ken Oliver. I think they were called Brushes or something. 
anyway, really cool. And um, he and I talked about them for a while. And he showed me a really nice product. And it went perfectly with their stamp. Because they have those beautiful flower stamps. So that was good. And then the rest of my day and purchase was at Art Impressions. And Art Impressions has really morphed over time. They have a lot of different types and styles of stamps. And um, I just, I've always been drawn to the stuff that I watercolor with them. Um, so, like I said, I went there knowing I wanted some of these watercolor stamps. I didn't know how many there were or what I was getting, but I knew that this one was new and I did not have this chest of flowers. And the reason I knew that is because when I was buying a few things on their site at the Super Bowl, they had a Super Bowl sale. And um, they showed it on Facebook, and I went over there, and I got a discount during Super Bowl. I somehow clicked on this, and I knew. And this was, for the show, they mark everything 15% off. So, I knew the price was higher before, so I, I had seen this. Anyway, there were six of them. I went there knowing there was one. And there were six. So they are smaller versions of some of their larger kits. And some of the things are, you know, in the same. And some of them are totally different from them, like, like the chest of flowers. So here's the first one. This is the Blooming Birdhouse, which I don't have any of the birdhouses. Um, here is the cottage by the beach, and I do have a lot of the beach ones, but I don't have the kite. Um, spring basket, I don't have anything like that. Open window, I do have some windows, but again, different. And then this one hadn't made it yet, and um, so... I went Friday and because of all the snow up north and delays, one of the packages was delayed and all of the vendors were affected, but Art Impressions didn't get a box and these were in it as well as their paint brushes, which had to hurt them. And um, so she asked me if either I could come back later if it came in or, um, you know, they'd have to mail it to me. And I said, yes, that's fine. So I um, gave her my information. Well, it came in the next day. She called my husband, and he went on his lunch break. And he picked it up for me. And it's got the cute little bird. And we had been looking at the little bird the night before in the catalog because I didn't have the series with the mailboxes and the little birds. And there's also a hummingbird I don't have. So it was really cool that I got that. Anyway, she also gave him a pen. And this one's kind of cool because it's a stylus with a pen. And I'd probably just use the stylus with my iPad. Um, and then she also gave him this fox for his troubles. Isn't that adorable? He's really cute. So that was neat. Okay, so I I did, like I said, I kind of lingered and I asked her if she could make me something um, when she was demoing. So here is that birdhouse done up. There it is. Love it. And the other thing she did, let's see, is she added the Stardust pen, which is a jelly roll pen. And I have a two-pack of these. They have them in Michaels as a two-pack. And they're inexpensive. And they add a lot of shimmer in a little line. Um, but again, that same shimmer that we all love. And so I thought that was fun. And then they, again, had a show special with every 
set you buy and these counted, you got a free one of their watercolor books. I had all but the first one. This one just never appealed to me for some reason. Um, and their watercolor books put it step by step and then they lay out what stamps are in it. And this is the way we used to do it. We used to sit and pick each mounted stamp before they put them into the sets. Um, and so then they were also giving away their watercolor catalog, which pretty much shows the sets. But they're really pretty pictures and also the supplies that they have. So I had all but that one. So I picked these out for my friend Char. I got six seven, eight, and nine. And for some reason, I got nine again. Um, so if one of you want this, let me know and I will drop it in the mail for you. Um, it details nine and the stamps that come in the two sets. And, um, and then the other thing I got was you got a free watercolor video for um, each, you know, three vi three sets you bought. So I got two videos, one for me, one for my friend Char. So I really got a lot of freebies, as you can see. It was a real worthwhile convention for me. So um, I I just really had a good time. I made the most of it this year. And um, I just really, really had a nice time. So I've already said that like a dozen times. <laughs> so there you have it. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.